once, once you have uh, done that, it will build a database tables that are required for a user forms. And uh, since I already had them installed once, all my forms are already there. But you would have uh, a different type of page with all the forms created. And then we can close this window and go into your Silver Stripe admin. And uh, as you can see, we don't have a contact us page here right now. The default page doesn't have a form on it, so I deleted that. Uh, we're going to create a contact us form uh, with the new module that we just installed. And uh, we go on a user defined form and then uh, have this one highlighted otherwise it will go in the sub sub menu so this this needs to be highlighted so it goes underneath as a page and create go as you can see we now have the page created with uh, user defined form. Uh, this is the form itself, so you don't want to delete that. Uh, you can rename that page to contact us. And when you do that, it will automatically go onto this one. You can change your meta tags to whatever you want, description and the keywords that you want to put on a page. And then you go on a form and select a field that you want. Uh, this is a submit button down here. You can just put submit down here. That's what it will be at the bottom of the form when, or you can put whatever you want, subscribe or submit or whatever you want. Uh, then we create a text field and add. It's added a field down here and you can put that as uh, first name. And then add another one. And you can call that last name if you want. And then we could add third one for email address. And in email address, you have to select the email uh, field and sorry, I'm going to delete this one, email field and then add. Uh, email address. And then the last one, I want a text field again, but this time I want a bigger field, not just one. I want a bigger box so they can put a feedback on it or whatever. So we click on show options. And it will give you what you want. And I can say that length of the box to be 100. Uh, how many, how much information you want them to put on there? I would say about 500 characters. Uh, number of rows, uh, I would say eight. And uh, do you want it to be a required field? If you want it a required field, then you can select that. And uh, there's some rules as well you can put on there, show or hide, but we're going to show that. You can hide it or show it. And when you do that, and we got to submit, we can show that.
now and then put whatever you want in that box uh, send us your feedback and then submission this is where you'll be if someone submits the form this is where you will get all the information uh, email reception you can add someone down here if you want for emails that we can be sent to we can go back on a main page and on top of this one this is a field so you don't want to delete that but you can press un enter a couple of times and put whatever text you want there uh, You can put whatever text that you want down there and then we got everything you if you have done your meta tag then you that is for that page and we can save and publish once it says saved and published it will be the name is changed to contact us and you can go on the publish site and you should see in the menu contact us with the form that you just created with submit button i hope this video has helped you how to create a form for your silver stripe cms thank you